Ever wondered how crude oil is extracted and used? The process begins with exploration and site preparation. First, geologists pore over geological formations, searching for potential oil-bearing reservoirs. This is a careful and meticulous process, as they must identify formations that show promising signs of crude oil. Once a promising site is located, it's not as simple as digging right in. There's a whole range of crucial preparatory work to be done. The area has to be surveyed thoroughly to ensure the site is suitable for drilling. Obtaining the necessary permits is also a critical part of the process, ensuring all activities are conducted within regulatory guidelines. Preparation of the site is equally important. Access roads are built to facilitate the transport of heavy drilling equipment. The site is then cleared of any obstructions, making it ready for the installation of drilling equipment. Once the site is prepared, the next stage is setting up the drilling rig. Rig setup is a crucial step in oil extraction. It all begins with the assembly of the drilling rig on site, which consists of three main components. The derrick, the drill string, and an array of drilling equipment. Picture the derrick as a towering structure, its height and strength designed to support the weight of the heavy drill string and to provide the necessary height for drilling operations. The drill string, on the other hand, is much like a long, flexible spine that drills into the earth. It's made up of drill pipes, drill bits, and other essential tools, all working together to penetrate the ground. Each component of the drill string has a specific role to play, from the drill bit that does the actual cutting, to the drill pipes that provide the pathway for the drilling mud. The various drilling equipment aids in the smooth operation of the rig, ensuring that the drilling process is efficient and safe. With the rig set up, it's time to start drilling. Drilling is where the action really begins. It all kicks off with spudding, which is drilling a shallow hole into the ground using a drill bit. Think of it as the starting point of our journey into the depths. But we're not stopping at shallow, we're going deep. And that's where rotary drilling comes in. The drill bit, attached to a string of drill pipes, is rotated, burrowing its way down into the earth. Now, drilling is a hot business, in more ways than one. That's why we use drilling fluid, also known as mud. This mud is pumped down the drill string, cooling the bit as it chews through rock. But it's not just about keeping things cool. The mud also carries rock cuttings back to the surface, keeping our drilling site clean. And crucially, it provides pressure to prevent blowouts, keeping the operation safe. Once the well is drilled to the desired depth, it's time for casing installation. Casing installation is a vital step in oil extraction. Picture this. You've drilled a hole, hundreds, sometimes thousands of feet deep. Now, you need to keep it from collapsing in on itself. That's where steel casing pipes come in. These robust tubes are inserted into the well, not just to support the well walls, but also to isolate different geological formations from each other. But we're not done yet. To secure these steel casing pipes in place, we use cement. Yes, cement, not too different from what you'd see at a construction site. Now this cement isn't just poured in. No, it's pumped into the well bore, filling the space between the casing and the surrounding rock. This not only secures the casing, but also creates a barrier. A barrier against what, you ask? Against fluid migration. This step ensures that the precious oil doesn't escape into other layers of rock. With the casing installed, it's time for formation evaluation. Formation evaluation helps determine the productivity of the well. You see, after drilling into the Earth's crust, it's important to understand the geological formations we've encountered. This is where tools like logging tools and core samples come into play. Logging tools are lowered into the well bore to measure properties such as electrical resistance, sonic speed and radioactive decay of the surrounding rocks. These measurements provide valuable information about the type and quality of the rocks, as well as the fluids they contain. Core samples, on the other hand, are actual pieces of rock retrieved from the well. These samples are meticulously studied in a laboratory for a more detailed analysis of the geological formation. But why is this step so crucial? Well, it helps us determine the presence of hydrocarbons, the crucial components of crude oil and natural gas. By evaluating these formations, we're able to predict the potential productivity of the well. Once the formation evaluation is complete, the well is prepared for production. 
Now comes the completion, production, and maintenance of the well. After drilling is complete, the well is prepared for production. This involves installing essential equipment like pumps and valves. These are critical components that facilitate the extraction and transportation of crude oil from the well. Next, the well is connected to pipelines. These pipelines play an integral role as they are responsible for transporting the crude oil to refineries or storage facilities. This is where the raw crude oil is transformed into the various petroleum products we use every day. Maintenance and monitoring are vital for ensuring the well operates efficiently. Regular checkups and updates to the system help to prevent any potential issues that could hinder the production process. In some instances, techniques such as hydraulic fracturing or enhanced oil recovery might be employed. These methods help to increase the well's productivity over time, ensuring that we get the most out of our oil reserves. With the well in operation, the crude oil extracted is ready for use. Crude oil is more than just fuel for our cars. It's a versatile liquid gold that, once refined, powers our world in myriad ways. Picture this. Crude oil, drawn from the depths of the earth, undergoes a refining process where it's transformed into various petroleum products. These include gasoline, diesel, and jet fuel, lubricating our engines and fueling our flights. But that's just the tip of the iceberg. Crude oil also plays a starring role in manufacturing processes. Plastics, chemicals, and a whole host of other industrial products owe their existence to this precious resource. And let's not forget about petrochemicals. These are birthed from crude oil and find their way into plastics, synthetic fibers, pharmaceuticals, and even fertilizers. This incredible journey from extraction to utilization involves a blend of engineering expertise, cutting-edge technology, and careful environmental considerations. So, the next time you fill up your tank, remember the complex process that brings that oil from the ground to your car.